Hello. Okay, time to get funky here. I've gone through all of the Google Coral examples, and uh, I'm going to give you a rundown. This is my favorite example of all of them, and this is the body pics. I'll show you this one first. But first, a quick note for the install page. Here's my setup. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 with uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, the Coral USB stick, a uh, version 1.3 of the Pi camera, and a, uh, later on uh, we're going to use this El Cheapo USB microphone. Uh, we have Raspberry Pi, Raspbian, 64-bit uh, OS, and then Python 3.9.2. Um, so the first thing you want to do, get started here, go through this, and essentially all you do, you copy line by line for Linux. Copy this and then paste into the terminal here, so on and so forth. Now one thing interesting, this line here, lib edge tpu on standard. Now they say down here you can put it on max, that's like I guess turning it up to 11 and caution it will get really hot the coral usb stick will get hot the aluminum so maybe i'll do another video on this in the future on the heat like running this versus the standard um once i find my FLIR camera again but uh anyway you just follow that line by line and when you're all done for linux all this is in linux copy paste you get this. You get to classify a single picture of a parrot and the result will be this. Okay? I'll show you. Alright, when you're all done with the intro example of the parrot, uh, this is, you're going to take this picture and then output this with a 75% degree of confidence that it's a parrot. Kind of boring if you ask me. And I did it over here. When you run it, make sure you're in the Coral, Pi Coral folder. And also make sure that you do the install requirements. So do bash and then install requirements. Um, so let's try to spice it up a little bit and see what it'll think uh, when I show it some other birds. For example, let's see what it thinks of the osprey. Okay. So all I did was I copied this, pasted it to here. At the very end, I changed it to osprey, and let's see what it does. And there you go, 95 percent degree of confidence and what do we have here dodo bird let's see what it does for a dodo bird we'll place the end here with dodo bird and let's see what it does and it thinks I'm the background okay better than a bird from here we can go into the other examples so go up here examples and then that bird one actually is the same thing as this the basic image classification so you've already done one out of hmm, 10 here just by doing that first one now there are four others that you've already installed just by doing that pi coral install and those are semantic segmentation so this one here basic object detection this one and then move net pose estimation which is this one here plus the parent so those are the four 
So let's go through these. Uh, these are kind of boring, to be honest with you. These are all fairly static. Um, like, they don't really make use of video for the most part. So uh, we'll go through these f first, and you can skip ahead if you want. So you just, for each of these, make sure you're in the PyCoral folder, and then follow the examples. This is the code you want. I'll just show you what this does, okay? Default image of a guy doing a squat here. And then what it's going to do, what it does is it creates a new image of a guy doing a squat with the little red dots where the joints are and the key facial features. Okay? So that's the MoveNet example. Let's talk about the other two. We've done the parrot, we've done the move net. Let's go to semantic segmentation. That's this one. Once again, just follow the example. This takes the bird picture here and then outputs segmentation result here so there's the input and the output so that's three out of four from the initial install and then let's do the fourth which is basic object detection this one Copy and paste these lines of code. Once again, you want to be in the coral folder. And what this does is this takes your initial picture, which is this one, Grace Hopper, and then when you're all done and it pro the program processes the imp image, here's the output. It's the same picture, but it says here, person, 80% degree of confidence, and then tie, 84% degree of confidence. All right, those are the four demos on the uh, examples on the example page that come with the initial install. Next, let's talk about the others. Just to note, a couple of them either I did not do or I had issues with. I had an issue with this one. Um, I think it's because the operating system I used. I used a 64-bit operating system. I was getting an OS error due to libmol.so. Um, so if you try this and you get a workaround, put it in the comments, please. Maybe you need to use the 32-bit version or something. Um, so I didn't do that one, and I did not do this because I don't have multiple TPUs. That being said, let's go to the one that I thought was the most interesting, which is the object tracker, which is... There are three examples that are pretty similar in regard to using the video camera and tracking poses and objects and that sort of thing. I'll show you the three. Um, the installs are all pretty similar, so you click here and then uh, navigate to desktop in your terminal and then just go line by line, copy this, paste into the terminal here, so on and so forth. And always make sure you do bash uh, download models.sh and then bash install requirements. That's really important. In this example, you navigate to GStreamer and then use this line to run the program. So I'll show you that. Any issues with dependencies or modules or directories not being able to find a certain thing, make sure you do bash install requirements.sh to make sure all of the dependencies are installed. Um, there were a couple times where I forgot to do that and um, just make sure in each folder you, you do that. Otherwise, you're going to 
run into dependency issues. So, I've already done this once, I'm not going to do it this time. I'm just clue cluing you in so you don't have to go through uh, pain in the ass. Anyway, when you're all ready, you copy this, you paste it, and boom. And give it a second or two, and... or three, and here we go. And here we go. And this is what it looks like. It's showing the frame rate and the inference time. And... This is the first of the three similar examples. Detect.py. Out of all the example projects, I think this one's the most interesting. This is another one that uses video. To install this, you type in your terminal git clone and then copy and paste this line and then press enter. And then you want to install the requirements, so like before, bash, and then install underscore requirements.sh, and then you can run the program. Here, I'm going to show you that. I've navigated to the folder that was installed, and now I'm going to run the code. And here it is. All right, showing the frame rate, true frames per second, and the number of poses. I think this is cool. It's kind of funky. I like the colors and how it's segmenting, like the left part of my face from the right part of my uh, body. I think it's kind of neat. All right, on to the next one. All right, the second to last example is the PoseNet example. Once again, you use get clone and then you take the code here copy and paste it, and then you put the whole thing into the terminal here that's going to create your project pose net directory and then you can run it make sure you install the requirements too here it says sh but i use bash and this is it. I'll show you how it works. All right. There we have it. And here we go. Whoa. It's kind of neat how it tracks my face and arms and limbs and stuff like that and there's a few different programs available here at this github page if you want to experiment with them so here it is frames per second number of poses inference time inference time so on and so forth and on to the last example key phrase detector this is where the microphone is going to come in handy all right like before you do git clone copy the code Create your project, and it's going to be Project Keyword Spotter. Then, to run it, well, first do the install requirements, and then copy this and paste and enter. I'll show you that. Here we are, and let's run it. And there we go. This is what it looks like. Here are the keywords. 
Let's see what it does here. Let's try some of these. Start task. Hey, there we go. Begin window. Yes. No. Video. I'm just going to make that. I'm just going to make them up. Okay, well, anyway, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it and can use this so you don't have to uh, bang your head against your keyboard as much as I did at times. And, uh, you know, there's some interesting programs in here. Uh, you could use the voice uh, commands here to maybe control an interface or a game or something. Same with some of those pose videos with the pose net and all that stuff. So maybe you can control a game or some kind of interface. Well, that's it in a nutshell. I'm kind of making things up here, seeing what, how this thing is going to react. Thank you for watching, and uh, happy programming and experimenting, everybody.